GROWING CONCERN THIS MORNING IN JOHNSON COUNTY. YEAH, CAR THEFTS, MORE AND MORE. PEOPLE FINDING OUT THAT THEIR CARS HAVE BEEN BROKEN INTO. KMBC 9'S MARTIN AUGUSTINE IS LIVE RIGHT NOW IN OVERLAND PARK WHERE THE LATEST ONES ARE HAPPENING. MARTIN? Good morning, Donna. We're here at 138th and Metcalf in the parking lot of a large fitness center. You can see the lot here filling up, people getting in here for their morning workout. But late last night, this was the scene of four car break ins. We have a little bit of video to show you from, from last night. People working out. When they came back out, they found their car uh, had been broken into. Uh, things such as money stolen. Personal belongings stolen in there. One man had a hunting knife and a backpack stolen too. Now, some of this is uh, a car break in is a, a crime of opportunity, police will tell you, that the, whoever's doing it will just look around for something that's in the car, and then they'll break into that car. So it serves as a reminder here to always take valuables with you uh, when you leave your car out of a parking lot. But this case is just a little bit different for a number of reasons. Donna? Martin, one thing that we do know, we've been talking about this week, are those thefts uh, in cars at daycares, parked outside of daycares in Johnson County this week. So any chance that these could be related to what happened last night? Well, it's certainly something that Overland Park Police are paying attention to. It's why we're kind of following this more closely than we might ordinarily with the break-ins in this parking lot. The similarities between what happened here and what happened earlier this week at a daycare where cars were being broken into as people were dropping their children off at the daycare. Police studying all of the reports, looking for connections. So far, nothing specifically has been established, but there's just too many connections for them to ignore it.